what's up youtube as you can see i'm working on the renegade i want to get this thing pieced together because i got to utilize this space where the renegade is at for another build uh, that i have coming i'm going to be on my auto 3 um youtube page so if you want to see any car content make sure to uh go over that way i will have it right here somewhere but anyway two issues uh unfortunately one of my bolts, which you, you can see right here, uh, unfortunately it got stripped. I ended up having to snatch the thing out. Um, what I'm finna do is get some plastic well, make sure that's um, nice and secured. And also I'm finna get a longer bolt uh, to go through there so we can have a nice uh, snug fit. And also I already fixed my issue which caused the issue where water had got uh, in the belt box. Uh, but can them, they with this loose behind plastic that just get loose over time and stuff. Um, It just caused that and all that. I mean, things just be getting loose left and right. So I make sure everything pretty tight. Uh, but there was only two issues I had and I want to get it together so this bike can be moved out the way and i can start riding it again uh, i did make sure this surface is smooth and uh same with that so that's nice and flat and also i'm probably gonna get like some rtv or something uh to sit the gasket in so i can have reassurance of no water coming in which i know it ain't i ain't had no issue out of the gasket which i'm surprised but anyway let's go to the auto parts store and let's get to it guys so guys, we got a couple goodies in this bag right here. We got some JB Well plastic, some bolts, and some extra stuff. So guys, first thing first, uh, what I'm gonna start with uh, is the JB Well plastic well uh, quick setting epoxy, and I'm gonna apply it on here, and I'm gonna let it set and all that. And we got our bolts and washers and stuff, and then um, we just go from there. So guys. We have the replica right here. Not bad at all. Just gotta put a washer or two on this side to make sure we get that tight, good connection right there. So guys, I'm finna add some mega gray to OEM import gasket marker. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I wanna make sure I have uh, reinsurance and I wanna keep that uh, gasket uh, in place um, if I have to clean it, replace the gasket and stuff, that's not going to be no issue. But let's go. So, guys, we got the gasket marker on along with the gasket. Uh, don't look too perfect, but it will do the job. Uh, the tube had, unfortunately, had busted on me, too. Um, let me show you real quick. Literally. Literally. Like, come on now. So guys, right now I'm letting this set, uh, it's say five minutes, but it cured within an hour. So it's almost about that time and everything looking good so far, uh, fingers crossed. Um, like I said, we got clamps and we got that. And my original boat is right here. So it's like OEM, -E sort of kind of, but everything will slide right through. Yeah. So I got rivets right now, as you can see. Probably gonna have to take it back off. I get it sometimes, but we got her cranked up right now. She been running for a good hot minute, even yesterday. Uh, we got our uh, boat right here. Right these are tight, and I gotta find that uh, missing one. And if I can't find it, then I probably gotta order one. But everything is like so properly. Yes, I'm not a tour of thing back there. Alright guys, well that's it for the Can-Am. Uh, we got her together. We just need to make sure all them boats tight, they hand tight. And we need to make sure they snug. And I probably need to find that one boat like I had just mentioned uh, before. And uh, that's pretty much it. So y'all stay tuned. Let's get the riding, baby.
You things would look so nice with some big old sassies on here. As I'm looking at the Renegade right now, it looked pretty small right now compared to what it was looking before when I first bought it. So, oh man, things age so well or well, over time, really, to be honest. But she running. You got a little footage. I do, however, need to get some uh, coolant too. Well, I got coolant, but I need to make sure it's at the recommended uh, level. making some videos pulling this trail. I ain't been back here in a